Hey there crafty friends, it's Tina the Scrap and Rabbit. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. In today's video I'm going to share with you some more crafty as inspiration for my hashtag Tina's Cute Critter Challenge Halloween theme uh, and some happy mail that I received from Anna. So I can't wait to share this with you. I can't wait to open it up and see what's in there. But just real quick, if you are new and stopping by my channel or not familiar with the challenge that I'm hosting. It is called Tina's Cute Critter Challenge and it's my number one challenge since it's my first one and the theme is Halloween. I have a video with the rules in the description box below but basically you need to make three projects, one card, one tag, and one anything goes fitting the theme and then just post it and let me know where you posted it. So using the hashtag Tina's Cute Critter Challenge helps me find it, but please leave me a message in my October 1st video letting me know where you posted it. That way I can put your name in the drawing for the prize. Okay, the challenge is going till October 22nd, so we have just under a week left to go. And I am so excited seeing a lot of your projects popping up on Instagram. I've been sharing them in my Instagram stories if I'm seeing it there. And I've also seen a couple videos that you wonderful ladies have posted. So thank you so much for the inspiration. I'm really enjoying everything that you are coming up with. Now remember that a Crafty Poodle Mom Civ, as well as Christina Crafty Paws, Who's Crafty Paws on YouTube? They also have videos with their projects sharing what they created using the products that I, the project kit that I sent them. And so basically, all the information is in the video in the description box below. So I hope that you will join us. But in the meantime, I just, I can't wait to see what's in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. Okay, so this is from Anna. And I already opened the top, and so let me see. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at how stinking cute is that? That is so adorable. Look at these candies, you guys. They're like, they look real. <laughs> they look like real candies. That is just too cute for words. And then the hat, look at the tool coming off the hat. Anna, this is so creative, and I am just blown away at how this looks. I wish you guys were here in person so you can see all the details and the texture and the dimension on this card. So, so stinking cute. I'm reading the card real quick. Oh. Oh, she sent me a dangle. Okay, so Anna is on Instagram. Getting creative in WV, so I'm assuming West Virginia. So getting, G-E-T-T-I-N, creative in WV. Thank you so much for that card, Anna. That is just absolutely adorable. Oh, look at the paper that she wrapped this in. And there's a little ghosty. And then on the envelope, too, she put these little cuties on there. So cute. Okay, so oh, I think I can just slide this out. Oh, maybe not. Oh, look, and there's a little pumpkin sticker. And a little kitty. Look at this is made out of wood. How cute. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is amazing. You know, I've been buying charms and things for years now, and I've never made a crafty dangle before and you guys this is just amazing look at how sweet she packaged it all up <gasps> wow we wow look at that look at all the beads and they have the little words on there wag treat woof trick good boo or no good dog eek boo I just like I can't get over this this is amazing I do not even know how to make anything like this and this is just so cute so let's just dangle aside which it is so gorgeous look at the tag it's so cute it says good boy and then it's got this dog on there this if this ephemera is just adorable and then I like this trim. That is so neat looking. Okay, now back to the dangle. Look at all this cool stuff. Look at those paws. 
Those are so cute. You're gonna have to tell me where you got all of these dog charms because I didn't see these when I bought the other charms for my kids. And there's a little spider web. There's a little bat, a little dog dish. It says dog with a bone in it. There's a little haunted house here. Oh, and these look like the bones. Well, they're not quite the same as the bones that I'm using. Bruno, stop barking. There's my good dog over there. This little bat. And, oh, that's a cute little paw. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh, there's so many charts on this. I just can't get over how cute this is. And all the work, oh my gosh, all the, each little thing that you had to put together, wow. I'm gonna need to try these. Look at that, I love my dog charm. I didn't see those. So cute, I guess I was looking for Halloween though when I was shopping, so I will have to type in pet charms and see what I get. Oh, look at the skeleton. So cute. And then this pumpkin, this is the same pumpkin that I bought. The one that I got was rose gold in color. Okay, so this is amazing. Thank you, Anna. Thank you so much for this, for thinking of me and wanting to send me something. That is just, I'm just blown away. I love it. Thank you so much. Wow, okay. Wowee, that is just amazing. And so this, she posted pictures and I, I shared them. Oh, did Anna share? Yes, on Instagram. Or did she do a video? I'm sorry, you guys, I'm a little out of it. This week has been more hectic than normal and I'm still playing catch up. But I have put all your names, everybody who's posted things, in a little jar to pick for my prize. So here we are, less than a week before the end of the challenge. So I'm hoping that many more of you will start sharing your projects. So here are mine. So for the card, I couldn't make up my mind. I actually had a hard time with the cards. I knew that I wanted to use the die. So this is the die that's in the prize package. And I knew I wanted to use it as a shaker, but I was really having a hard time. <laughs> I, I had I messed up so many times trying to do this shaker, but I think that ultimately they turned out so cute. I ended up doing two of them. So for the background on let's okay. So this one I did first as far as the background. So I used a stencil. The stencil is from Stamp Anything, and I did my purple and purples and black distress inks. And then the sentiment here is from Jaded Blossom. And then this is that cute little kitty. This is from that Spellbinders Fun, Stamp Journey, Fun Stampers Journey stamp set. This is the one that I sent to Christina and she and I both crafted using this set, which I, I am like, I this is cuteness overload with this set. I've never seen a, a cuter Halloween set than this. It's, it, well, and this one too the pretty pink posh one. This is the one that's in the prize package. So um, yeah, so this is the little kitty stamped in Boston, colored her up, made her a little witch. And then the shaker in there is so fun. So now I don't know if you can tell, but I cut the little bugs out from this die set. And they are so creepy when they move around because they're like these, this like a centipede type of uh, die there along with these creepy looking spiders. And then I cut them out forwards and backwards and then glued them together. So just in case it flips over, it's not gonna be white. I just glued back to back with glitter cardstock. So they have glitter cardstock on both sides. So I'm not sure if you can see how creepy those are. <laughs> creepy cute. And then I used the paper, um, the holographic paper spider web in the background. And I think that it turned out so cute. And then for the uh, for the top, I used some cork. I have some adhesive cork that I found at the Dollar Tree. And um, yeah, I had no idea that I was gonna use it for this, but I think that it turned out cute. So now this sequins that are in here are part of the prize package too. I created this little sequin mix myself. And then if you want, you can cut out the bugs with the die if you're the winner and add them to your mix like I did. 
So that's this one. And this one, I did the same colors using the same Distress inks, only I um, stamped this spider web from this set. And it's right there on the top. And I used some holographic embossing powder. So I'm not sure if you can even see how awesome this looks in person. But I just stamped them all around and so it is just so shimmery and so pretty. And then again, this little kitty is from the Pretty Pink Posh stamps, which are in the prize package. And then the same thing, same background, the same holographic spider web paper in the background, the same bugs. And then so if you could see that, see how creepy they look when they move around. Oh, is it not moving around? There we go. Yeah, so it's just so fun. And then Bugs and Hisses, Happy Halloween. I felt like that really fit the whole theme here. And um, yeah, so these are the cards. So I made two cards. And you know, while you have all your stuff out, a lot of times it's just quicker to do them in pairs if you can. And for me, when I first did this background, I wasn't happy with it. And then I went and did this one. But then looking at it afterwards, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. And then I cut it out and decided to add this kitty to it. So also I did use this Fun Stamper's Journey. Uh, I've got some embossing powder. Um, my anti-static tap powder tool all over it. <laughs> it's called Black Licorice Silk, and it works great. Look at those black splatters that I got in there. I really like how those turned out, and I wish that I would have gotten them on here, but it, I thought about it after I put everything on it, and I did not want to risk getting the paint on the shaker and on the kitty, and, and so I just left it as is, but I really like the way that it looks with that black splatter. So those are my cards. So for the tag, I used the little ghost kitty that I colored up. And I think this tag turned out just adorable. This tag die is from Jaded Blossom. This is from that Fun Stampers Journey stamp set. I stamped Boo. Where's the Boo from? I think the Boo is from that Halloween. It's from this older set that I have from Pretty Cute Stamps. And they're, they also do SVGs, Pretty pretty Paper Ribbons. I think it's called Pretty Paper Ribbons. But uh, I know that she sells digitals now. She's not really doing the actual stamps, but she used to do the peachy stamps, which stamp beautifully. And then I just used that little boo on there. And then I fussy cut out a little word bubble and I just thought it turned out so cute. So I added a little t little um, ribbon at the top, but obviously I'll need to add some more ribbon to tie it on to something. And then this is the little bony though that I charm that I hecked onto there. And I used some of the holographic paper from the Pets and Pumpkins stack that's also in the prize package. So cute. So that is my tag. So there's my cards, my tag. And then for the Anything Goes, I decided I really wanted to use this little dachshund. And this, this is the SVG from this company, the, the same lady who created these stamps. She created this SVG. Um, pretty Paper Ribbons, I think it's called. Pretty Paper, Pretty rib Pretty Paper, Pretty Ribbons. <laughs> I'm gonna stick the link in the description box below if you are interested in purchasing this SVG because it is so stinking cute. It also comes with the sentiment, Happy Halloweeny, I think it is. And so I love this SVG and I've been wanting to use it forever. And so here it is. And then this little pumpkin is from Cricut. This gable box is from Jada Blossom and it's the gift box die what is it called it's called i know i left it out here it is it's called the handled gift box die so this is at jaded blossom if you're interested in that die i used the ribbon that is in the prize package and then also the gems that are also in the prize package do i have those out oh here they are so in the prize package there's also these black gems 
and so I put some of those on the corner there and I think it's so cute. This box is perfect for, I mean, it fits a lot. You can fit a lot of treats in there and look at how cute is this double-sided paper that has the bones on it and it's purple. So you can fill this up with lots of goodies. So cute. All right, you guys, so that is my card and I did more than call one card, I did two two shaker cards, um, my tag, and my anything goes. I really hope that you will consider joining the challenge. There is just, we are all in desperate need of some cuteness and things to lift our spirits and cute critters absolutely do that for me. So thanks again for stopping by my channel. I hope you liked my projects and then my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gift from Anna. So beautiful. I hope you liked my share there, my happy mail. I'm so happy. I love it, love it, love it. Have a great day, everybody. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye for now.